Okay, those that know me know this won't be long, but I'm not doing anything until my family's up here. They're all playing games. <laughs> They're after Jet, Mary, Jacob, Josh, Alex. Keep coming, keep coming. Zane. What are the chances we have two Zanes in our family? We got. Thank you. So there's a couple of moments in campaigns that are incredibly stressful and difficult. A debate is stressful and difficult. Filing is stressful and difficult. And figuring out how to say thank you is just very difficult. And. You can't say thank you without saying, first of all, thank you to my family. Yes. In those moments when I was trying to decide if I was going to do this, the loudest voices came from my family, and the loudest voice in the family was <laughs> Sue. <laughs> so. So thank you. I love you all. I have the best family in the world. You know that I have six kids and 17 grandkids. And if, if you want to know why in the end I did this, it's for the 17 grandkids. They're the best, and I love them all. Well, you can't say thank you without saying thank you to the staff, the volunteers, the paid staff, the many people that worked on this campaign. Everybody has talked about this campaign across the state as one of the best campaigns ever in the state's history. That doesn't happen without an amazing team. So to my team, I don't dare call you out name by name, but just know I love you and appreciate you. Thank you for the best campaign in the history of the world. And you all know that a campaign can't happen without donors, and I just want to give a shout out to the thousands of people who donated, who stepped up and helped me financially do this. I think when this is all said and done, you'll see the most expensive race, Senate race in the state's history. Our donors believed in the vision, and the vision is this, that we can do things better in Washington. We can agree, we can find solutions, we can be civil. And that is the vision I think that the donors caught, and I think that's why we had such overwhelming support. Well, tonight is a night to celebrate. But tomorrow we go back to work. And, we're, and I want you to know that as we go back to work, I'm thinking a lot about my great, great grandfather, Alex Curtis, who came from Scotland to the United States. He had 10 children, eight boys and two girls. And he started the family motto of, in unity, there is strength. And he, he's commissioned an artist to draw a bunch of sticks together, wound together with twine. And he always made the point that individually they can be broken, but not together. Those of you who worry about this country, just know that's going to be the message tomorrow from the corner of the state to the corner of the state that we must unify as a country. And if we unify, we can beat any foe, any, solve any problem. And it's going to be the message. Thank you very much for being here with me tonight. Thank you for believing in me. And thank you for spending this night with us. I'm